Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to create a control chart. It's also known as a sewer chart and was created by the late American physicist and statistician Walter Schuert. It's used in uh, statistical quality circles and it's a way to measure progress through time. So kind of the basic components of a control chart is that we'd have our measured data, which is this blue line here. We would have our mean or average, and then we'd have these upper and lower bounds. The upper bound called the UCL, the upper control limit, and the lower bound called the LCL, which is the lower control limit. These upper and lower control limits are three times the standard deviation uh, also away from the mean. So basically what we would have is we'd have our our data, our date of data, and then our measurement, and we can calculate from that our mean and our standard deviation and create this chart. Uh, one little tidbit about this chart is we have these labels here, and these particular labels that will adjust with the chart. So say for example, I have, I change this number to 100, you would notice that these labels will change with the chart. So I'll show you how to create these labels to change with the chart at the end of this video, near the end of the video. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo. And let's start to create this chart. Let me select the table data that I need. All I need is uh, this particular area in column A and B. Let me select this range. Press control C to copy. Go to sheet two here and control V to paste. Let me go ahead and double click this to auto fit. And I'm just gonna copy the data, the table here, this mean and standard deviation, control C to copy, and then control V to paste. Now we're gonna start off with the mean first. And what I need to do to populate that chart is have a column for the mean and a column for the upper control limit and lower control limit. So we need to calculate this mean first. And there's a function to calculate the mean or average, and of course it's appropriately named average. So I select, I'm gonna go and double click, and it comes up with this average function, and all I need to do is select this range of data. After I select the range of data, I can just press return or enter. Oops, let me go back up here, and you can see that I have, let me go and double click this to auto fit that. You can see that that is the same as this one here. The next thing we want to do is get the standard deviation. In Excel, there's also a function to get the standard deviation. It's STD, DEV, oops, STD, and then DEV. And there's two here. What I want to do is get the standard deviation of a sample. Uh, STDEV.P is the standard deviation of a population. And in our, in our case, we have a small sample. And so that's, that's the one that we need. And let me go ahead and just double click that. And now I need to do is just select the range from B7 here all the way down to B34. Press enter. And let me go ahead and go back up here. And we have our standard deviation 3.446, etc., which matches that. Now we need to get this part of the table. Let me go ahead and just copy, copy that header and put it over here. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And this mean, basically it's, it's gotta be the same throughout the all these rows to get that straight line across. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press equal and reference the mean here. And I'm gonna press F4 to lock those cell references in. So because what happens is when I copy this down, it will just keep referencing C1. Let me go and press Control Enter to stay in that cell. Double click the fill handle here to copy it down. You can see if I click in any of these cells, the reference to C1 still stays there. Let me go ahead and get the upper control limit. So the upper control limit is going to be a formula. So basically it's going to be the mean, you see that middle line mean, plus three times the standard deviation. So it's going to go up. So that the mean plus, and then parentheses, three times standard deviation. And for the standard deviation, I'm going to have to press F4 to lock it in because when I copy it down I want that reference to say the same but C7 it can go to C8, C9, C10 right here because they're all the same anyway. Let me go ahead and press Control Enter to stay in that cell. Whoops, I forgot to put in the closing parentheses but Excel was smart enough to do that for me. Go ahead and click Yes, double click it to bring it down and you can see 252318 it's what we have here. 
Now the low control limit is basically a similar function or similar formula, but instead of adding it, you're subtracting it. So now we're going to choose the mean, subtract parentheses three times the standard deviation here. Go ahead and press F4 to lock that cell in, and then close the parentheses. Control Enter to stay in that cell and double click it to copy it down. We have 455396, 455396 here. Let me go ahead and select this and double click it to auto fit here. So now what we need to do is just take this range here from B6 to E34 and then go ahead and select that range is selected. Go ahead and insert and we want a line chart. All right, so let me go ahead. So now we've got basically a line chart. Let me go ahead and move start and move this. Let's move this up a little higher here, and also maybe make it a little bit bigger. Let me go ahead. Let me just kind of make this column a little smaller. The data, is, the data is still there, but it's just made it a little smaller, so I can see this chart a little bit better. Move that out. So we don't need these gray lines. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and delete it. And we have basically the basis of our control chart. So the rest of it is more or less formatting. And let me go ahead and just get rid of this legend. I think we, we're, we're going to put the labels in there, so we're not going to need this legend. I'm going to press delete. And now the, now the plot area has gone over to the chart area here a little bit. Since I'm going to create the labels here, I want a little room. I'll select the chart area, area here and then move it back a little bit so I can get some room to plot these labels. So to create those labels that adjust dynamically, what I would need to do is select, let me go ahead and show the example with the UCL first. I'm gonna click the, the line, and you can see it's, it's giving me the data points for each of them here. I'm gonna select the last one, and then I'm gonna right click and select Add Data Label. You'll notice that it added the, the data label for the last one. But that data, I don't want that data. I want it to reference this UCL. And so what I'm going to do is click on that and click up here in the formula bar. Whoops. And click on it to select it again. And click on the formula bar. Now you have a cursor in there. Press equal. And I'm going to select this. So once I put the equal sign and select cell D6, it's going to reference D6 and the output of D6 is going to go into this box now. So when I press enter, you'll see UCL3 Sigma. All right, UCL3 Sigma. Let me go ahead and move this over here a little bit. Actually, maybe I need to make this a little bit bigger here so I can see this at least. So now, I would do the same here for the lower control unit, the LCL. I select that and see these all markers are selected. Select the last one here, right click, add data label, select the data label here and go into the formula bar press equal and then LCL3 here and let's press enter and now we have our LCL down there do the same here for the mean and let me see, click on that right click add data labels select the data label click into the formula bar equal and then I'm going to select this mean here press enter so now I have my data labels and when I change it here it also moves with the line. Let me go ahead and press Control Z to undo. And one little tidbit, uh, you might be see the three sigma here, and that's basically a, sig a symbol. So let me go ahead and delete that and show you how to get that in there. So you can see I deleted that, press Enter, and now it's gone from here. So to get that sigma in there, I would have to go, let me put three sigma. Sigma is basically a symbol, so I would have to go to Insert, Go to symbol here, and now the sigma symbol is right here somewhere. I think uh, you have to kind of look for it. If you can't find it, I believe it's O three C three. Ah, there we go. That's the sigma signal, sigma symbol, and we go and just press insert, and you can see it's there right there. Click close, and close the parentheses. Oops close parentheses, press control enter to stay in that cell and you can see that it has reflected there. So that's just the how to add a symbol in there. That's the three sigma symbol hit there. Let me go ahead and remove that space there. So that's the way to create a control chart. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.